if you're with a married man and you decide to make the wife to know you, you decide that you want to rub shoulders with her, you want to provoke her, you want to make her understand that you're sleeping with her man, you want to make her understand that you have her husband wrapped around your little finger, be very careful because there are some women out there who got no chill. No matter what we say, no matter what they hear, no matter how many people preach to them, no matter what amount of counseling they go through, if they have taken it upon themselves that they want to harm you, they will. And they will harm you and deform you in such a way that you will not forget them in a heartbeat. Whenever you look at yourself, you will know that you intruded in another woman's home. Hello ladies, hello gents. Thank you for being here today. My name is Mira Skinner and you know that I do not take your presence here for granted. So ladies and gentlemen, on to this video, we are going to be talking about the baby mama drama, the side chick drama, the wife drama, and what have you not. If you have not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, guys, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. That way you know when we do have new uploads and also share this video with your friends and family so they can come to know what we are doing here on this channel. You know that I bring you the best of the best. Let's dive right in. Ladies, 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 come on now. We can do better than this. We are smarter than this. We have more value than this. We have more than we are portraying outside. We are beautiful. We are industrious. We are intelligent. And we can do anything that we set our minds to do. Why do we go ahead and fight other women? Because of a man. One reason why. Because he said he loved you. Because he said he loved the other woman. Or because of just something else that you want to gain from this person. I know that I just, you know, dive right into this topic without any forward. But the reason why I'm bringing this topic to you guys is for us to have a conversation about this thing. To have a conversation about the enormous ways at which women are going to, you know, bring down others. To tear down each other. To tear down their values. To tear down their morals. Their confidence. Their self-esteem. Bring down everything for the sake of a man. A man that neither wants either of them. For my married ladies, I know that this is hard to comprehend. This is hard to grasp. This is hard to understand. But when a man has walked you down the aisle, when a man has said, I do to you, when he has gone to your family, they've given him this list of the items or whatever for your breakfast, and he has paid that breakfast and taken you to be his own, when he has signed those papers saying this is monogamy, his loyalty is to you, not anybody else. So don't expect that same loyalty from another woman outside that this man has decided to pursue. Don't expect that loyalty from any other person because it is between you and him. Your relationship is between the two of you. I keep repeating this so that it can sink in. Because I see women nowadays that if they hear that their husbands are cheating on them, instead of confronting this man, instead of confronting the perpetrator, the man who is hurting you, they go outside. To talk to this other woman they tear this other woman down they beat this other woman up or they do all sort of terrible things to this woman when this woman owes them nothing it is hard to understand but she owes you nothing she doesn't owe you any values she doesn't owe you any morale she doesn't owe you anything your man should be able to keep it zipped up your man should be able to stay at home with you rather than looking outside and my single ladies Please leave this married man alone. Because if you're someone who wants to have a family down the line, the time that you're taking to invest in this man, the energy that you're taking fighting his wife, the energy that you're taking just to hide away from other people not to see what you're doing, is the time that you could have been investing in yourself, becoming a better person and finding someone that is for you. There is no reason to be at loggerheads with another woman. Because women, one woman to the other, if we can just come together as one, there is nothing that we cannot do. We will be unstoppable. 
I understand that when you're hurt, when things are going on in your life, like a man is cheating on you, or a man that you have loved and loved and loved, and you see that he has betrayed you in this manner, it is very hard for you to think properly. But it is always important for you to ask yourself the reason why you're going after another person. Ask yourself questions that will make you understand that this other person outside does not owe you anything. This is ridiculous. It is becoming the norm in our society and we have to put an end to it. When side chicks or the other woman, as you may put it, claim that they are fighting the wife at home because of what the man has told them. Maybe this man has bad mouth the wife to you. Maybe this man has said all sort of terrible things that the woman is doing to her. That's why he's coming to you for solace. Maybe this man has even said that he loves you. Maybe he has even told you that he was going to leave his wife for you. Girl, please. He's not going to do it. Because a man who has integrity, a man who is a family man, a man who really loves you, will make sure that he is done with one woman before coming on to you. He's not going to come and make you be his shoulder to lean on or make you be maybe his therapist. Because there are men out here who have issues that they cannot even afford to go to a therapist or they don't even think that they need a therapist and they are seeing you as their therapy. They will come to you, they will spill all this gibberish to you. They will sleep with you and they'll go right back to their wife. You call them on the phone, if they are at the dinner table with their wife, they won't pick. Because they are with their family. They are putting them first before you. You're just a side piece. You're just a thing to them. Something that they can play with. A toy that they can play with. So you have to be smart enough to understand that you have to carry yourself in a certain kind of way so that you don't find yourself in a situation like this. Understand that a man will say anything that you want to hear just because he wants to get in bed with you. Do you know the power of what you're sitting on as a woman? Because when you know the power of what you're sitting on, then you'll start thinking better. You'll start doing things differently. Let me just put this out there. There is no perfect marriage. Let no one deceive you. A marriage is two imperfect people who have decided to come together. And the key word is decision. They have decided to come together to work on themselves every day. And yes, literally every day. To make each other happy. They've decided that they have chosen each other. And they will work every day. To make sure that they have a good home. A good relationship. And maybe live a good life. So when a man comes and is telling you that he's having problems with his wife. It's but normal for someone to have problems with his wife. He may magnify the issue just because he wants you to have sympathy for him. And then give him what he wants. Men can be manipulative like that. Every day, what these two people do is they decide to work on themselves. They work on their lives. Their lives are in alignment. Their values are in alignment. Whatever they do is in alignment. They decide to bring kids into the picture. Then they raise those kids. They decide to live a life that is pleasing to them. So when a man is fed up with a relationship, when he's fed up with his marriage, he will leave. He doesn't need your help to leave. He doesn't need the help of the outsider to leave. He doesn't need anybody's help to leave. Because this was a decision that he made to get into it. So when he wants to get out of it, he will make that decision. And until then, there is no reason for you to cling onto him. Because he's only going to bring you down a path of doom. And then dump you and go right back to his wife. Because yes, there are many women out there who are so forgiving. They're going to forgive their men. And they'll take them right back. And when they have done that, where does that leave you? Because the most you can do is talk. The most you can do is try to bring down the man's character. The most you can do is try to fight the woman. But that man has picked her over you because he married her. If he hasn't left his wife, anything that he's telling you at the time is invalid. Nullify whatever he says because it is not the truth. Okay now, this brings us to the baby mamas. The fact that you have a child with a man, the fact that you decided to bore a son or a daughter for him does not make him your husband. Know this and know peace. Because there are many women out there messing up their lives, messing up their futures, messing up their careers, messing up every good thing that is happening to them at that time and that can happen to them in the future because they are trying to hold a man down. If this man 
is not married to you if this man has not told you that he wants to marry you if this man has even told you that he wants to marry you and he has not married you yet there is no reason why you should be making babies for him life is about principles there are orders to some things when you follow this order especially when it comes to things like relationships then your life will be less chaotic do not bore a son or a daughter for a man because you want to hold him down if you are not able to hold this man down by yourself a child will not hold him down one thing that we have to understand as women is that a man is able to separate the love he has for his child and the love he has for the mother a man will love his child deeply i mean literally but then he will have no iota of love for the woman or for the mother of the child and you cannot make him to love you just because you decided to give him a child it was your decision to have that child when he had not yet married you now this is different totally different from a case where you just want to have your child because there are many women out there who really don't want to get married but they want to have their children this is a total different ball game from this one they are not having that child because they want to hold a man down they are having that child because it is a decision that they've made that they want to bring a child to the world and because they feel like they have the mental capacity they have the financial capacity and the means to bring up this child in the rightful way so yes they go ahead and have their children this is totally different unlike the one where your motive is the man not even the child because when you decide that you want to have a child for a man and the man loves this child and doesn't love you there are times where you may resent this child when this child has done nothing wrong to you you brought her or him into the world so we have to think before we do things. We have to think before we make certain decisions in our lives. Back to marriages. Do not be the woman who will break a home because you feel like there are issues in the home, because you feel like the home is really crumbling. Let the home crumble without your input. Let it crumble without you putting something into it. Let it crumble without you being involved. Take for example, right? A rose, it is very beautiful. Many women love roses. But no matter how beautiful that rose is, roses have thorns. Same thing like a marriage. No matter how beautiful that marriage is, it has thorns in it. These thorns may be in the form of childlessness. These thorns may be in the form of like financial issues. These thorns may be in the form of miscommunication. These thorns may be in the form of maybe the in-laws. These thorns may be anything. But this thorn should never be another woman outside. It should never be you coming in between these people. It doesn't matter what the man has told you. I said this earlier on. It really doesn't matter what he says to you. As long as that woman is in that house, he wants her to be there. A man would do anything for the woman he wants to be with. If a man loves you genuinely, if he craves for you, he will do anything to be with you. And because this man has not left his wife for you, that means he doesn't love you the way he's portraying himself to. Let's talk about the very, very first love triangle that occurred on earth. And this happened in Genesis chapter 29, verse 11 to 35. Stay with me, guys. So, Isaac had a son named Jacob, right? So, Jacob was of age. He needed to get married. And because his father Isaac never wanted Jacob to get married to the women of that land because they were in a foreign land, he never wanted his son to get married in that land. Same thing that is happening with us today. Many people don't want their children to get married to foreigners. But that is another story for another time. So the reason for this one, Jacob, Isaac never wanted Jacob to get married to women in that land. So he sent Jacob to Jacob's mother's land to get a wife right so jacob went there he prayed to god god answered his prayers he found a wife and he found a wife in his uncle's house his uncle was named laban so jacob met his uncle's daughter and his daughter was named Rachel. but mind you Rachel was the second daughter she had an older sister named leah so when jacob went to laban's house he made his intentions known that he wants to marry Rachel and Laban accepted. So what did he do to get married to Rachel? He worked for Laban for seven whole 
years. Seven years. This is just to prove to you that when a man wants you, he will do everything and anything to get to you. So he worked for Laban for seven years. And when he did that on the day of the wedding, while he was working, he was looking at it like, oh, these seven years is just like a couple of days because he really wanted Rachel. That is what happens when a man loves you. The day of the wedding came. What did Laban do? He tricked Jacob. He presented Leah to Jacob and Jacob slept with Leah. In the morning he woke up, he discovered that he had slept with the wrong sister, not the person he wanted to marry. So he was furious. He asked the man, okay, what happened? Why did you do this to me? And what did he tell him? He told him that it is a custom for them, for the older sister to get married before the younger sister, right? So that is why Leah was presented to Jacob. So what did Jacob do? He took Leah as his wife, but then he still wanted Rachel because that was who his heart longed for. Now I'm going to pause here, ladies. It doesn't matter how much sex you give to a man. It doesn't matter what you do for him. If he doesn't love you, he doesn't love you. He will still go after the woman that he loves. So you being a woman outside, you being a side chick, or you being whatever kind of woman, whatever you label yourself, that is not a way to get a man. Because a man knows what he wants and he will always, always go for what he wants. There is nothing you can do about it. All you got to do is be yourself for a man to want you. So now, he had already slept with Leah. Another man will say, okay, now that I've already slept with Leah, I'm just going to take her as my wife and forget about Rachel. But Jacob did not. What did he do? He worked again for another seven years, making it a total of 14 years just to get married to Rachel. This is to show you that he really wanted Rachel as his wife. So even at home, he had Rachel, he had Leah, but he loved Rachel. And everybody knew that he loved Rachel more than he loved Leah. Leah had babies for him. He still did not love Leah as much as he loved Rachel. Rachel did not have a child. And this went on and on and on until Rachel was able to give him a child. But he has always loved Rachel. This is to show you what men do. It is in their nature to go after what they want. So do not be the woman that will cling on to a man who has no affection for you. I don't know the language that I need to use for us to understand this. When a man loves you, he loves you. Regardless of what you do, regardless of the advances that you make at him, regardless of how much you throw yourself at him or how much you give him sex. When he loves you, he loves you. Because men are like hunters. They will not rest until they get their spoil. Married women. No matter how painful this is, if a man cheats on you, do not go after the side chick. Do not go after the woman out there. Because you don't know what this man has been telling her. You don't know what this man has been feeding her with. She may not even know that you exist. Because there are some married men out there who are walking about and acting single. And if a man acts single, there is no way for a woman to know that this man is married. And if this man was loyal to you, he will not go after another woman out there. We should stop trying to make this man to become what they are not. Because what a man is not, he is not going to become. I think that this woman came unto him, even if she did. If this man is loyal to you, he will flee from that temptation. When a married man acts like a married man, there is nothing, absolutely nothing, the other woman out there can do. It's because this man, they go out there acting like single men, that's why you see them having all these other women out there. Married women, don't make excuses for a man that cheats. There is no reason why you should be doing that. Because when you start making excuses for his behavior, that is how he becomes very disrespectful. He continues to disrespect you because he knows that you are weak. He knows that you cannot stand to lose him. But if you can show these men that you have values, you know who you are, then before he goes out there and cheat on you, he will think about the consequences. If you have to run after other women, if you have to run after the man, if you have to do all those things that are just belittling you just to keep a man, then he doesn't want to be kept. And when he shows you who he is, believe him. Don't make excuses for him. Ladies, if you decide to go after a married man, if you decide to have a relationship, 
with a married man. If you decide to have affairs with a married man, the same way that you got him is the same way that you will lose him. Because when a man cheats on his wife with you, he will cheat on you with another woman. Because it is never about you. It is about his insatiable desires. Desires that cannot be tamed. Desires that cannot be satisfied. So always have this at the back of your mind. Ladies, if you're with a married man and you decide to make the wife to know you, you decide that you want to rub shoulders with her, you want to provoke her, you want to make her understand that you're sleeping with her man. You want to make her understand that you have her husband wrapped around your little finger. Be very careful. Because there are some women out there who got no chill. No matter what we say. No matter what they hear. No matter how many people preach to them. No matter what amount of counseling they go through. If they have taken it upon themselves that they want to harm you, they will. And they will harm you. And deform you in such a way that you will not forget them in a heartbeat. Whenever you look at yourself, you will know that you intruded in another woman's home. So be very careful the decisions that you make. Because we all live with the consequences of the decisions that we make in our lives. You are a woman. And you know what they say about a woman's wrath. It is sharper than a two-edged sword. So be careful with this. Know that you're beautiful. You're smart. You can get whatever you want to get. You can be the right woman for a right man. So go out there. Enjoy yourselves. Stay blessed. Be this fabulous, fabulous woman. Be a woman's keeper. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. That way you do know when we have new uploads. Stay blessed. Stay fabulous. Love you queens. Bye.